this little walk around of the all new Mazda 3. Towards the front, you get some. This is the top set model, so you get some visor and headlamps with LED daytime running lights, as you can see. It's all blacked out. Fog lights and indicators. Front diffuser. Your black piano black grill. The flat Mazda logo, because under here is the radar control, cruise control. That's why. Good way to hide it. Plate holder. Got some chrome, chrome around here, as you can see. Going to the specs. This one, additional features it's got. Ra yeah, radar cruise control. Yeah. And it's got 138 kilowatts of power. I think this is a petrol one. And comes with a manual one auto, so there's your information right there. It's the sedan, obviously, but the fuel consumption on this one is combined 6 liters per 100k. It's not bad. This is a 2.5 litre petrol. Yeah, not bad. The wheels on here, they look about 20 inch wheels, if I think I'm not wrong. Running on dumb lot tyres. It's all nice. Looks pretty good. Dunlop Sports, actually. It says right here Sport Max. Handle's a bit low, I know so. Normally it'll be a bit higher. Oh. Little thing got some chrome here, as you can see. Your tail lights. I like the sedan, but it looks a bit a lot more nicer. I'm not about you. Daytime running lights. That's the three. It's going active. The sedan should have. Oh, whoa! Look at that. It's a huge boot. So. So big for its size. All padded. Try to pull this off. Space for a spare tire. All your repair and toolkit. Your jacks and stuff like that. For the cell, what does this have? Oh yeah, that's your jack right there. Smart way to hide it. Just put, just put a little stuff on the side as well. Got these covers over here. Makes it look more presentable. Lip spoiler. Third braking light. Hey man, how you doing? Oh, uh, good, thanks. And you just noticed the guy just came to see how I was doing. Um, let's see what you got here. Oh no, you don't open it from inside. Oh, no big deal. Sunroof. Here's the interior. Good job. And also, so keep in mind this is a top spec model, so it's got a lot of features that the other ones don't have. Well, check this out. Glows a red, kind of like Iron Man's arc reactor. Very cool. Well, here's the interior, as you can see. Piano black inserts. Come here. As you can see, you've got your speeder, your information is displayed on the left and right, and your speed's demonstrated right there, displayed right there. Stop start, you can see, your wipers, indicators, we've also got propel shifters, it's quite interesting. Controls, N your navigation for your audio controls, you know, seeking, skipping stations, volume controls, your information. See if I can turn on the. If I press this section, I might be able to display some of the info. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't work in this instance. I think down there you can see, I know it's a bit hard, but you can see right here there's actually all your warning lights and other stuff. Come on. Answer can't call your Bluetooth. Some fake Im imitation of common fiber. Cruise control settings. You got your track control settings. Your window switches. Some more comp fiber inserts, fake comp fiber inserts, soft touch as you can see, so many for soft touch. Vermeer, Bose sound system, you've got a very pointless side pocket here, you can only fit a small amount of drinks, can you see, it's very pointless. 
We've got some inserts here, all leather, red stitching there. Heat controls, left and right. Passenger, driver, all your information is displayed here. You've got your dual zone clamp control, driver, or auto, and dual. All your settings, for all your air conditioning, recycling, AC. I wonder how you turn it off if there's no on button. Maybe you have to do this like on Volkswagen until it turns off. It's stupid. All your information is displayed here for your climb control, fan speeds, your modes. You got a CD player, not like you ever use it these days. You got some storage, put your phone here. Push to turn on. You got your navigation, like kind of like iDrive, you can scroll through the menu right here. Nav, home, your audio controls. Back, favorites. You can navigate here, or you can use a touch screen here. I can't turn it on, which is rather unfortunate. But it's good to have that, but I think it's just easier just if you're typing and stuff just through there. But it's nice to give you the best of both worlds. You've got two cup holders for very small cups, so they're not that practical. Five plastics. Got some storage here. You got some. Is that metal? Is that real? That's oh, plastic. Looks like brushed aluminium, but. It's not a soft touch, as you can see. It's all hard there. Perforated seats, as you can see. Red stitching here. Got some more there. Got some more perforated seats. More perforation, sorry. It's got two layers, so you've got a layer of leather here and another one here. It's very cool. Very comfortable, good bolstering, as you can see. It's also these seats are electric, I forgot. They're actually pretty noisy, wow. Maybe it's broken, or oh, there's something stopped there. It's very noisy. Listen to that. Kinda sounds like Tron. It sounds like Tron. Look, listen to it. <laughs> Sorry, Chan. I know that. that was really uncool. Um, it kind of sounds like something that came from Chan. Anyway, um, but it's good. Uh, I didn't know the passenger. The passenger seat is actually it's actually manual, but I can't move it because I had to drop the camera. Then, well, as you can see here, you got forgot you about your gear knob here. It's all soft touch inserts blacked out here. Um, the shift bag is leather, I think. It's all soft touch here. Red stitching here. Got some storage here for move that. That was not meant to come out the way it's supposed to do. And got some storage, decent storage. I'll remove that, there should be an SD card there. Menu say. Yeah, so this SD card is for the navigation because they don't provide DVDs anymore. It's a lot more easier as well because now if you get an accident or something, the CD jumps and then DVD jumps and it kind of scratches it. But yeah. got your receipts. You got a bit of a blind spot there, sort of. Your sunroof controls. I can't close it, unfortunately. Got the key. Rather unfortunate. Got a sunglass holder. We got some. Side visors here. You have you saw your front visors, and you can remove it, and you get the idea. You know, everyone knows to use these things. Um, yeah, there's a manual seats there, but um, didn't pop the hood. You got fuel, runs on 95. I'm pretty sure. You can have a good look at the color contrast, the materials over here. Check out the rear seats. It's very solid. It's very nice. A little leg space here. One way to find out. Whoa. A lot of room here. It feels a lot bigger than I thought. It's very low to see. In a, it's a, in, in a good way. It's not bad. Um, I feel... Got a lot more room than I thought I would, actually. Great leg room. Can I put the seat? Relatively back. It's front drive, but I don't know why there's a huge transmission channel, so 
microphone doesn't make much sense. Um, got perforated seats. You've got some stitching here. Got some more. This is actually not. This is different than the material at the front, actually. This feels kind of hard. See here, it feels like. Yeah, it's like a hard material. I don't know what you call that. Hard plastics there. Thick kind of carbon inserts. It's, you've got pockets here, the window switches. You can't really. Yeah, you can't do anything there. You have a pocket here, but you've got a pocket here. Uh, I didn't get that. You can fold the seats if I'm not wrong. There has to be a button here somewhere. And it looks like you can't fold down the rear seats. I'm pretty sure you can. There has to be a button here somewhere. Oh, it is. Mm, weird. It's strange. So you got some cup holders here. Armrest as well. I'm pretty sure you can fold them. Maybe you can only do it from the inside. But there you go. You can see there's a little bit of blind spot there. It's not a big deal though. Got a light there. Sunroof and uh, we'll view the interior from the back seat. Is it a middle seat? It's quite good. The seats are good bolster, well bolstered. Got two layers of leather. Can you see this one here? Another one below. Good living room, but um, my knees kind of point out, so if someone sits here, they're gonna have a bit of trouble. So I'm gonna have to be like this, because the tra the transmission tunnel kind of is not dead straight. It's like like that. So my if I'm up here, it's okay, but when I put my feet in a normal position, they kind of lean out because of the tra this still way the transmission tunnel is. Yeah, I know why there's one there. It's not even it's, it's only front drive. It's weird. Sunroof. No, you can close, but you can't. I know you can do it from here, but you, you can't do it, so... I'll see from here, if you can do it from the inside. That's a bit of a bun here. No. You can't. That's interesting. Maybe through the inside you can. Let's see. Yeah, you can. Let's see. Got two handles here. If I pull that, and if I pull this one here, now it should come down. Yeah, that's stupid. They should put handles there too, so you can fold down the seats. I knew you could. I mean, every car has seats you can fold down. Good, and they fold flat too. So you can easily slide items across. But they do it from the back, which is really stupid, so... Yeah, if I remove the seatbelt, it should be... No, you can't. So you've got a weird strap that blocks it. See, it's all nice and flat. I knew you could, but this... I'm not sure. You one touch the lock, double touch to unlock. If you have the key. Well, that's my little walk around the new Mazda 3. Akira top spec model. Not Akira. SP25 GT. Thanks for watching and um, feel free to like and subscribe. Sorry for mistakes, but um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya.